Iowa Republicans have promised big tax cuts this year, and now all of their plans have been revealed. Yeah, but the governor, the Senate, the House, they don't agree on how to do it. New at 6, KCCI's Amanda Rooker shows us where the plans are different and where they're the same, Amanda. Well, all three propose eliminating state taxes on retirement income, and they all agree on giving exemptions to retired farmers. But for income and corporate tax cuts, the governor, the Senate, and the House don't see eye to eye. Republicans agree when it comes to Iowa's income tax rate, they want it flat, fair, and competitive. The governor and House Republicans want a flat 4% individual income tax rate by 2026. Senate Republicans want to take that even further, pushing for a flat 3.6% tax rate by 2028. Really? Senate Republican leader Jack Whitford says his ultimate goal is to make Iowa an income tax-free state. His plan works to achieve that over time. What we would do with that taxpayer relief fund is as that accumulates money, we automatically ratchet down the rate as we march down towards a, a, a zero tax rate in Iowa. House Speaker Pat Grassley doesn't share that goal, but his plan does use money in the taxpayer relief fund to pay for income tax cuts. That was always to be used for tax uh, reductions, so that's why we tried to tap into about 50% of that to get that back out into Iowa's hands each year. When it comes to corporate tax cuts, all three groups have different ideas. Senate Republicans want to reform the whole system, getting rid of more than $140 million in corporate tax credits and exemptions, and using those funds to bring down the corporate tax rate to a flat 7.8%. House Republicans ditched corporate tax cuts entirely. The governor proposed a corporate tax cut over time. Depending on how much money the state's corporations make each year, the top rate will continue to go down until it hits a flat 5.5%. Democrats pushed back on all three proposals, saying they all come at too high a cost. The Republican plan will benefit corporations and, and the wealthiest Iowans. Uh, Democrats are focused on supporting hard work, uh, rewarding work and not wealth, and putting more money in the pockets of hardworking Iowa families. Well, now we have three plans on the table. Lawmakers will have to agree on just one that the governor will sign off on. House Speaker Pat Grassley says getting the ball rolling this early on in session is a good sign that they can get an overall package done sooner rather than later.